hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to work on library management system and this project is completely going to be built using spring boot and restful web services if you are new to these technologies then this project is for you now before we kick on to this project if you are new to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel at please do i see that a lot of people are watching my videos but not yet subscribing so please do that and uh, talking about this project what do we need is basically we are going to make it simple so that a beginner also can understand so so if you want a production ready project then this is not that it is going to be completely for beginners and maybe in future i will try to enhance this and make it production ready right so let's work on the project all right so first thing first is that we need to go with spring initializer to create a new project and to do that what we have to do is we have to click maven and what whatever the version of spring boot is available for you then name let's say library management system lms for short and let's add dependencies so what do we need we need web for sure then we need jpa to connect to our database and then i'm going to use s2 for now then maybe in future i'll try to append this with postgres or maybe mysql then we need uh, we need dev tools and what else yeah so this looks like it and you just need to generate so you will get a zip file uh, what you can do is basically you can choose any uh, preferred id i am going to use eclipse for now and import it there all right so i have imported the project in eclipse so it will take some time depending on your internet speed to download the dependencies and here you can see that it is currently trying to download those so first thing first is that we need to modify our application or properties all right so basically we need these uh, properties so as i told you before i'm going to go with s2 database for now because it is most simpler and here you can see i have enabled the console so that i can look at it if i want to query the tables then i can do that i have told spring that the database uh, data source platform is going to be s2 then the url is like uh, what is the database driver that you're using which is jdbc then the type of database is s2 then this is in memory database and then the database name and this is just for, uh, your url now for uh, a property where i want to update as in i don't want to recreate the structure of the database just update uh, whatever new additions i have made in the application right so this property is for that now let's create our models first so that we have entities so let's create a package also all right so the first one is going to be obvious choice which is going to be book so in book what we are going to have basically i forgot to save this so first thing first is that this is an entity so let's annotate this now i i want to give a new name to this not book because by default if i uh, if i don't do this uh, table annotation then the name of the table is going to be book all in small but i want to change the name so for that i'll use this books already now what do we need in columns so first thing first is that i need id ideally this should be long but we can keep it we can keep it as int for now now this is a primary key so annotate this with id now the generated value as in how do you want to generate the primary key because we don't actually uh, create or provide an id it should always be auto generated so that is why we are going to go with generated value 
and then we can just give a strategy dot identity now a book is going to have a name then it is going to have a list of authors so I'm going to create a class afterwards then we are going to have list of categories because it is going to be in a particular category or maybe multiple categories all right then your list of publishers there can be multiple publishers for this all right now we don't have these classes yet so let's quickly create those alright so we have all the three classes now so now we need mappings so as I told you a book can have multiple authors multiple categories and multiple publishers so this is going to be a mapping of type one to many and one to many one to many now we need a join column annotation as well join table annotation now here we need certain properties like this Alright, so similarly, we are going to have this join table in categories and publishers. So let me just tell you why we did this. So when we talk about join, what do we need is we need a common column through which we can identify that this uh, table is actually linked with this table through this column. So that column is going to be a book authors. And here you can see there are two columns which are linked with each other. Uh, that is your book ID and author ID as in your ID of this book class and then ID of your author class right so let me just do the same for categories and publishers alright so we have everything with us now this is going to be a column so let's do that now what do we need we need a constructor so public book then what do we need we need setters and getters so generate setters and getters for everything all right so we are done with our book class all right now let's come back to author so again this is going to be an entity that is a must then i am going to go with a different name so table annotation and then name equals to authors let's import this as well now we need an id column we need a name column for authors and how many books he has published till now so list of book Alright, so an author can have multiple books.
and also many authors can have many books so let's do many to many instead and i think we have to do same for book also all right now we need again certain properties so we need mapped by and then we need cascading so this is done so this is just telling you that it is mapped by this variable which is authors which is going to be inside your book class which is this one right and i just want to ignore this while giving a response so i am going to go with json here so that's why i'm ignoring this and so this means that if i want to get list of authors then it will print me id and name only not books i don't want that if i want to take a look at books i can actually grab list of books right already now we need a constructor so public author and then we need setters and getters all right similarly we have to do for category and publisher so let me do that quickly Okay, I missed doing this, so let's quickly do that. And then we need a constructor, so. and then get us and setters similarly we are going to go with publisher nothing surprising all right so we are done with our entities and that's good now what we need is we need uh, dao layer and service layer so let's quickly create those so let's start with uh, your repo so new interface and this is going to be repo oops so let's start with uh, author repo let's close everything up and what this is going to do is it is going to implements sorry uh, this is just going to extends your jpa repository and this is going to use author class as an object and int so this is going to be integer all right similarly we can do new interface and here we will do book repo 
let me just copy this all right so instead of author this is going to be book and then new interface what is category repo paste instead this is going to be all right last is going to be a publisher repo so new interface Alright, now we have to work on our service layer. So, new class service, and this is going to be your uh, author service. Let's annotate this with service. First thing first is that you need an object of your author repo so author repo let's auto wire this as well now what do we need is we need a few methods so first method is going to be to get list of all authors so list author get all authors and here we are simply going to use author repo and then jpa to produce a list of authors then we need get author by an id so get author by id and here what we have to do is we have to return author repo dot find by id and here we need an id so int id so if there is no object with this particular id in that case we want to throw an exception new new runtime exception and here we will simply say uh, id given id is incorrect all right this works now we need uh, a method to save so save or update author and here we are going to have an author object with us so return author repo dot save and author all right now the last is going to be to delete Authors. So this is not going to return anything. So this is going to be void. So delete author by ID int ID. So first we need to find out if uh, an author exists with this given ID, right? So let's just copy this. So if it doesn't exist in that case, it is going to throw an exception. If not, we can move on to the next line and just delete using delete by ID method. All right, looks good. Similarly, we have to do the same operations in other service classes. So let's do that quickly. 
now we have book service so we need book repo object here let's paste those method and let's modify so author is going to be replaced with book all right this works so this is going to be get all books so get book by id and here we will just say update book delete book this is going to be book what else yeah pretty much looks good now let's move on to category service Or this okay I need to copy again all right and then I just need to replace author with category that's all looks good uh, here we need to make a change so this is going to be category all right uh, yeah looks good let's close everything and last is going to be your publisher service private publisher repo auto wire this and let's copy paste again hmm alright so looks good alright so we are done with service layers now we need to work on our controllers so new class and this is going to be a new package so controller and let's start with author controller all right so this is going to be a rest controller because we are going to go with rest apis and i want to have a common request mapping so let's do that this is going to be an api of type author now 
what do we need we need an instance of author service let's auto wire this now we need certain methods all right so i have just pasted everything here so let me just import let me just do import first and then i'll talk about it all right so we need these mappings so we need get all authors so basically uh, we needed every mapping for our every method that we have defined in our service class so we have get all authors method in service class for which we have a get mapping so this is going to be go down with this one when you do that you will receive a list of authors which it will return with the status okay which is 200 okay similarly for get mapping by an id so here we don't have anything we just have a variable uh, path variable basically which is an id variable which is going to be uh, used on this method get author by id when you received an author then it's okay if it is null which is not going to happen but if in case it is null then in that case we will say not found and it will build so this is not actually going to happen because in our code we are actually doing or else throw so in that case let's do or else and then return null let's not throw exception let's do this and i think this we have to do in a lot of places so let me copy this this is author service similarly we have to do in book service and then category service and lastly your publisher service all right let's come back to author controller oops i closed it now this is going to be null if we don't have that id in that case it will check if it is null if null then it will respond back with not found status right talking about save author in that case we have a common method which is going to be used in your put mapping as well so save or update author if it is able to create that then it is going to return this with created status not 200 okay all right talking about put mapping we are again going to have a variable id and also we are going to receive an object which we want to modify right so two things now first we are going to figure out if it is there or not if it is there then it's good otherwise return this which is we have done in our get mapping also if it is able to find it then we are going to set an id on this author variable because we are actually not setting or providing id variable with this right when we are able to set it then we are just going to hit the database or update the database right and for delete mapping similarly first we need to check if it is there or not so let me copy this if uh, 
delete okay here we are actually deleting but let me just cut it let's cut this line and paste it here mm -hmm. now what we need to do is we first need to find out if the author object is there with this id or not right so if it is there then good delete it otherwise written back with this let's remove spaces so we are done with our author controller so similarly we have to work on our rest of the controllers so everything is going to be pretty much simple um, not much difference so i'll just copy these mappings and modify the change so new class and then this is going to be your book controller so this is going to be rest controller with a common or global mapping as api and then books then i need an object of book service and then auto wire this and then the mappings now here uh, let's replace author with book now we don't have author service so replace this with book service what else what else what else i don't see any error but we need to change the names i may miss some names but don't mind that the logic should work so let me reiterate we again have get all books method uh, which is going to return all the books so this is going to be books similarly uh, get book by an id so this is going to return a single object of book type and post mapping is just saving your object book so that's that then we have uh, put which is your update book so this is what we are doing here and lastly delete similarly let's do it for the other two controllers so we have category controller copy this again just to reduce some time now let's replace author here with category then replace this author with this category and lastly replace huh did i do category service okay never mind uh, i think spelling mistake is there okay never mind so this looks good and let's continue to publish your controller
all right now we are done and i think we are good to test our code so let's run this code lms application dot java java application So it seems we have some errors. Let's expand this. And the first error is cannot invoke SQL exception value is null. Okay. All right. So it seems I have some properties missing. So let me go to application or properties and let me remove this line. All right. So yeah. Now let's run the application again. got the error again java dot lang unsupported operation exception all right so it seems the problem is with this uh, mv store equals to false it was supported uh, before spring boot 3 but now it is not so it should work now let's see so as you can see started lms application in 11 seconds now let's open postman and hit the request so as we know everything is going to be empty so let's start by adding some data so localhost 8080 and then api and let's start with publisher go to body raw and name as new publisher send and we got the id and the publisher all right now let's create a category also uh, category controller okay this should be publishers uh, but that's okay categories uh, go to body raw and here let's do new category send and we got the data now we are good to create an author right so post body raw so here let's do a new author and send so we got a new author new category and new publisher so let's create a new book so post and here let's go to books body raw so name author id and publisher id uh, what else is missing we are missing category id also so let's simply copy this and instead of publisher id let's do category id let's send this and we got authors as null categories as null and publishers as null okay 
that's not good all right so let's understand what was the issue so here if you see that this is a many to many mapping and here we are expecting a list of authors but when we were sending the request we were just sending a simple author right if we are just sending a simple author we are sending an id not an author object which it expects that it expects as a list of author object so we need to make a change here so in our post mapping when we are saving the book first we need to have a list of authors we have list or uh, we have need list of categories and publisher so how to do that so we are expecting that in this book object we will get an id right so what we can do is we can create a list of author first so here what we will do is so we don't know actually how many authors uh, in a j json response we are going to give so that is why we need to iterate over each uh, id of that author so here we are just iterating over that so that id is going to be in this author object and what we can do simply is we can use private author service author service object and let's auto wire this so here what i will do is i will just find out so get author by id so here we will just do author by get id and author author and then we will simply do this check that we have here so here let's do found author if not in that case we will just add it to our author list afterwards we will just set book set authors and here we will provide authors similarly we will do for publishers and categories so this is going to be category and this is going to be categories all right so here we need to iterate over categories and this is going to be category and here we need another object category service and let's also create for publisher all right so this is going to be category service dot get category by id and here this should be category all right a lot of changes right 
now for publisher actually we don't need this uh, I don't know why I'm even doing this so publisher this is going to be publisher service all right so so we have set everything up in our book object and then we are saving the book object so now this should work let's restart the application and similarly we have to do it for our put operation as well right Hopefully this should work. Let's try. All right. So we have name as new book authors. Um, let me check. Uh, so we have authors, categories and publishers, authors, publishers, categories do we have anything else no so we don't have author id one we don't have publisher yet so let's create those okay so we have publisher only all right so the publisher is created now let's move ahead uh, we have category so let's do that and then author let's do that as well now we have id1 for everything so let's send this now and this set 201 created and the response is id1 name then author's detail as in id1 new author new category new publisher so it is working fine right now uh, we need to do similarly for put op operation as well so let's do that let me close everything up and what I will do is basically I'll just copy this and once it checks for the existence in that case I'll do this right then it is going to set ID and voila now we want to uh, update this operation so now let's see if we have uh, get operation or not so we we didn't try that right so localhost api authors first so we don't have any right and let's create that now uh, here if I do this I'm able to find out and if I do this then also I should be yep it's working now let's do the same thing for publisher and here let's make a change to publisher it is working let's see this and this is also working now last is your category so let's do categories and send it is working one and it is working now last is your books so first let me send this and this worked fine now let's make a change so this is a put operation right so let me just try this updated book and here i need to do this as put so send this and i got method not allowed let's see what we have 
uh, put mapping requires an ID. Yep, it should. And send this. Now we have ID one. Name is updated book, and everything is fine. Now let's create a new publisher. So here, let's say second publisher. Send this. We have a second publisher now and in our put mapping let's add another publisher so ids2 now send this here we have categories author and in publisher you can see two publisher now so this put operation is also working now uh, let's try for the rest so let's try put so first is your publisher id s1 go to body raw and let's copy this and instead of second i'll just do first and send this and it is working right now if i do get operation on publisher then this should work we have first publisher and second publisher right now let's try to do the same thing for your category first category and send this so we have this and let's see so first category and now if i uh, try to fetch books this should be updated there as well so new author first category first publisher second publisher so this is working now uh, let's try to delete Uh, let's delete a publisher with ID 2 uh, let's try with ID 3 or let's try to delete 2 uh, let's see so it got 204 no content and now if I try to get publisher I shouldn't be able to see second one and this is working so we have tried everything for our publisher let's do for category as well so categories one and it says no content and now let's try like this so it says 404 not fine and that's okay so if i do this this should work So everything worked well with publisher and categories. Now authors, let's try with authors. So let's let's close everything up. So first thing first, let's try to fetch authors. So we have only one and let's okay let's update this all right so localhost authors and one and this worked now if you do get operations you can see this now uh, what else to do let's create another so authors uh, let me copy this and let's do john doe send this and 
let's see if we have two we have two now let's delete one of them let's do two and send this there is nothing there to o4 we got and when we do this this is working and when we try to figure out then we can see this is saying 404 not found so this is okay this worked well now what do we need to do uh, we need to do same operations for books as well so first thing first uh, let's do how many books are there so we don't have anything I think yeah so similarly everything is going to work well now what else we can do here let me go to book so first thing first is that there are very limited columns here so first thing could be that you can increase columns as in you can have uh, what else uh, borrow date and return date here as a, as columns then you could have amount also like whatever amount was there for this book you can place that there and similarly for the other entities you can have more columns and then you can have more operations right right now we are just seeing uh, based on authors based on publisher then you can also have maybe a mapping through uh, price let's say if you want to get books by price and you can uh, you can uh, sort those books using those prices you can sort based on name right uh, that operation also if you have more than 10 books and the pagination is not working in that case you can add pagination as well so these features you can add these are not uh, big features but this will uh, make you learn new things make you more comfortable with spring boot with restful services so so yeah so this is it what i wanted to showcase in this video if you have any questions uh, do let me know in the comment section i will try to respond back as soon as possible and this is it for this video i really hope that you like the content that i wanted to showcase here if yes please don't forget to press the like button and you can always subscribe so i will meet you in some another video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye